Smart home devices are synonymous with building or retrofitting a house these days. There are a lot of different types of smart home devices that can now be integrated into your digital life. But there is a major problem with the devices that we have at the moment, and that comes down to compatibility. But when you decide on a smart speaker, you're actually choosing a whole ecosystem of products because not every product is compatible with every ecosystem. And that's where Matter comes in. So what is Matter? Well, Matter is a compatibility standard. The aim of Matter is to make sure that all of your smart devices are platform agnostic so that they can work with any smart platform that you decide to use. Matter was created by the Connectivity Standards Alliance, which is basically a group of tech companies that saw a need for this compatibility standard. And it includes the big players like Apple and Amazon and Google and even Ikea. So who is making products that are Matter compatible? Let's talk about some of the major companies that are playing in this space who have already announced compatibility with Matter. Let's start with Philips Hue. Hue is probably the most well-known smart lighting solution. There's so many different options from indoor lighting to outdoor lighting systems. And if you happen to have a Hue Hub, Philips announced that in Q1 of this year, Hue Hubs will be getting a compatibility update to add matter to the ecosystem. So all Hue devices will be able to gain matter support. Wiz lights are also becoming compatible with matter. So is Nanoleaf. Nanoleaf is rolling out updates to its devices that will add Matter compatibility. They're also releasing a bunch of new devices that have Matter compatibility. For example, the Nanoleaf Skylight, which is a pretty interesting product for your ceiling. And I'm really interested to try it out. Eve is also bringing compatibility to its products. And in particular, they're releasing new products like a motorized blind motor that you can use to retrofit to existing roller blinds. And that will offer matter compatibility and allow you to upgrade your house to make your blinds smart, which is a pretty interesting product. And I'd love to try that in my own house. The other huge benefit of matter compatible devices is that they'll also be using Thread. And Thread is essentially a low power wireless mesh networking system that allows all of your smart devices to communicate with each other, basically creating a big mesh network. And what this means is more reliability. Because at the moment, if you've got a smart lighting system, for example, when your internet goes out, it can be very difficult to turn on and off your lights. That's a pretty annoying problem to have. But with Thread, that problem should be solved because your smart speaker will be able to communicate directly with your smart home devices. There's a lot of debate as to whether Matter will actually work, whether this idea of having an ecosystem of products that can all talk together and have reliability across different types of ecosystems, whether this idea is actually going to work. And 2023 might be the year that we actually find out whether this is all going to function the way that it's intended. Because at the moment, while there are major companies that have bought into Matter as an ecosystem, there are a lot of companies that haven't. For example, LifeX. LifeX have not announced compatibility with their lighting products. So 2023 will be the year that we find out whether Matter actually works. And if it does, this time next year, we'll all be able to walk into a store and buy a range of products and not think about whether or not those products are compatible with our Google or Amazon or Apple products. And that's going to be a big win for consumers. So that's all I have for this episode of The Defrag. Just hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks.